Hello, so I had an idea about building an automated YouTube channel using these TikTok videos. So I've seen a lot of channels that do some sort of TikTok compilation or TikTok dance compilation where they're just TikTok videos stitched back to back. So for example, this one where it's just people dancing and then just, yeah. So you, you get the idea, right? It's just these simple TikTok videos that are stitched back to back. So I wanted to see if I could do something similar, but first before programming, I want to see how it would be done in a manual fashion, and then I can automate the process that way. So I went to TikTok here. I downloaded some videos from here. Um, you can just right click and do save video as, and you can pretty much save it to your desktop. I then put it to Premiere, and then stitched a few videos back to back just to see what it would look like. I made a new YouTube channel and just put it up. So if I show that to you, it's something like this. So we've got our thumbnail here that I managed to do. I did this all manually, by the way. So thumbnail title, uh, to show you what the video actually looks like. Let me mute the audio. Yeah, so. Cut the bit out, but yeah, you get the idea. So it's just these people dancing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we got that. Uh, so far we don't have any views. I have an idea about trying to put this up on Reddit and then maybe that might bring some views in, but I have a feeling that the larger the volume of videos we make, the more people will come to watch the content. So yeah, so we're gonna try and do that. So I, so we've done that. Let's try and do the automation part. So we've got these videos here and I've got a program I built uh, in Selenium where it's just web driver stuff. Um, and so what I'm doing is getting into Selenium and then using this function, which is pretty useful. Now, what I found was if you go into here and just look, right click and inspect this sort of content, um, if you inspect it, and what, what it shows you is when the mouse is hovering over a video, the URL for the video appears here. So if we copy that, so the video actually appears, right? And what you can do in Python is you can um, use the request library, which is this, and you can actually download the video manually, which is what I'm doing here. So I'm getting the video by this link, so that's the link of the video, and then storing it into this variable, and then saving it and writing it as a byte to this file, which is then stored here. So these are all videos that I've saved. So if I show you what I mean. So you can see I've given each video a unique ID, and then I've saved them here. Yeah, so the next step of this project would be to try and compile them or try and get more videos uh, by the same method. So I'll talk you through the step of, of trying to get more videos this way. So, yeah, just a little bit of code, but I'm gonna run it now because I need some more videos. So I'll show you what happens when it does its thing. So if we, so I made too many um, tabs, so I don't know which one I'm on. So let's, oops, let's try doing that. That's not it. Okay, so we're here. So if we so if we just type in this. Now what I found was videos that have less than 10k views are usually pretty rubbish. Well, not rubbish, but they don't have much relevance. So for a filter for a channel, we'll say that there has to be a viewership of higher than 10k. So if we look at that and inspect that and just work out what that looks like, it's called 
strong video count. Does everything have the same sort of thing? So if we do a search, so a good way to do searching in uh, Selenium is to search using uh, XPath. So if we say something like, I want to find um, element, or not attribute class, and I want it to have the value of strong video counts, let's control C that. And it has to be strong. So strong video count is twelve. So yeah, okay. So if we can get the video and then we can get the um, that element there, we can work out what the view count is. So if we control C that and go into our program again. Um, Okay, so let me try explaining this in a coherent way in case everything else I said doesn't make any sense. So we're trying to, right now, we've got these videos here. So we're trying to grab the view count to check whether the video is worth downloading. Now the general metric we're going to use is use something called XPaths. So to show you what an XPath looks like, you, you have this sort of structure. So we know that our attribute is going to be a strong attribute. We know that it's at a class, and then we know that We know we want this part, so if we inspect that, and we know it's called TikTok that view count strong. And so if we say equals, you can see we're grabbing that. Now, because we're grabbing each tile as a set in our code, so our code here basically says that list of items, this particular section is basically saying get all the tiles on the screen that's why we have a star here get all and is an S there so we're getting all of them no that's not what I wanted so we're saying get all of them get all the tiles here and then because we know that these tiles have this as a child attribute we can try looking for that in the child attribute so let's try this again so let's say this, control C that, control V. And then let's test this out by getting list items. We get the first item. So you can see it's there. We can then say find or find element and then by dot x path. And then we want to find this thing and hopefully you'll be able to find it. So I did find it. Okay, so if we say text then... Okay, so cool. So, so if we're in a for loop, let's say, and we're looping over each item here, we can then say something like... So that this then tells us um, if it has a view count. So we can say view count string. So, and I have a feeling this might fail. So let's put this into a try and catch statement. And if this happens, uh, no view count. So we'll print out the exception and say, could not find a view count. And then we'll skip this iteration. Because if that's the case, then we can't really attach a new video to that. So yeah, we have view count here. And then we can say view count string.
um, now we need to convert this to an actual numerical value because we want to check whether um, w whether it's above 10k, so 10,000 views. So let's just try and get that done then. So So they've built us a function. Thank you. Uh, so let's pop that into our code. So this function essentially straightens out numbers. So, so if we say something like we store that as view count, we can then say Okay, let's take a look. Is it capital K? Yes, capital K's. So, if we go back into here. We can then say value count. Uh, try it. And that produces a value. That's great. So all we have to say is our threshold If view count is larger than 10,000, so 10,000 views, then now if it's smaller than 10,000, we'll say continue. So what we're saying here is if our view count is smaller than 10,000 views, then continue. So skip that iteration because then we don't want that. So So I think we're ready to start downloading them. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to do this side by side. Yeah, so we, we've got all the stuff uh, done. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this piece of code, and what this does is it scrolls down to the bottom of the page and it finds the load more button, clicks it, and it does it 20 times. So if we run this, so if we copy that, and then paste that and run it, you'll see it loads more. It finds it again, loads more. Finds it again, loads more. <laughs> yeah, and you, you get the idea. Okay, so it's done the thing 20 times. Okay, so the margin we put was 
10,000 views to be applicable to even download. Now there's a lot of garbage here, a lot of garbage. I, typed, I was hoping dance videos would come up and instead I've got weird rubbish. Um, control C that, control V that. How many list of items have you got? There's 24. So then let's run this program. So what you'll see is the mouse hovers on each icon and when it hovers on it, it generates a video URL and then we are going to save that. So if we click on this, actually let's clear it out because I think our video URL is like 200 or something. So let's clear that out first and let's do the other piece of code again. So we go into the video, while well, we put the mouse on it, it generates the video source code source URL and so we've got that now so if we now look at the it's 24 so now if we start saving those items so to show you what the save looks like again it's just basically we do a request and we get the video link so the video link here to show you what the code looks like If I do um, list of video links new zero, you can see it looks like that. It's pretty long, but yeah. So something like that. And if it's saved, we do file with them. That's the wrong one. Let's open in Explorer. And then a new one should be added each time. So you can see there. And yeah, so that's the code running. Okay, so the code's done. We now saved all the f those videos to our file. It's a close one, but it's more of a detailed look. So I think one of the new ones, they're still loading in. But yeah. Um, hold on now, is that what actually work? Or Why is this here? Best of video links, let's do the last one. Okay, don't know why that came through. The let's do list of items minus two. Find elements s list of items view count and let's change item here into an index. So 
index range length so the issue we were coming with was that it was taking the view count of the very first video now selenium's odd like this because oh my god now sometimes it acts like a weird thing so we don't really need that view count string should be list of item view count index and the item here should be equal to list of items index and now everything should be satisfied so for example if we run these two commands so run you have a list of items you count uh, and then we need to say dot text so view count 3.0 million Let's change that to one. What's the count now? Twenty-five point three million. Okay. So we've got ourselves um, this. So I think instead of downloading all this rubbish that I downloaded by accident, so let's do view uh, details. Let's do date. Let's get rid of everything I downloaded right now. Let's delete that. Let's go back to view. Uh, let's do large icons. And let's Using the code I've generated, let's make an empty list. Uh, list of the links, make that clear. We'll then get this. Control C that. Control D. And then now, if we look at our code. We should have a list of video links. What's the size of it? 15. And then let's save these videos to our computer. File written. File written. Okay, so let's look at the video that we have. Um, so what we're doing here is we're making YouTube videos that are combined with TikTok compilations and the way we're doing that is we're going into Selenium, we're then generating TikTok, we're then uh, searching for something and then we then um, click on the load more content button to, to generate more content this, this is what this does we then get the the tiles for TikTok containers these ones and so when we put a mouse on them we're able to get the video source code or video source URL which we can then download the content for we're getting the list of view counts for each of these tiles we're checking if the view count of the tile is larger than 10,000 views if that's the case try getting the video link and saving it into this list then once you have the video list try downloading the video using this function here so we get the link we then save it uh, when we write it to bytes on our file system and then we save it so that's so for that's just basically getting um, that's just getting the data 
So you can see how we finished. And so if we go into our videos and then do view and we do let's do content type. Uh, let's view by detail actually. Details. And then these are all the videos we've put up. Photos. This one. 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 Cool. All right. Works pretty well. We've got all these good videos that we can use to make new TikTok videos from. I mean, make new YouTube videos from by compiling these all together. So the next course of action will be to put these videos together uh, using some program. But I'll do that in another video. So for now, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.